real fruit is good and good for your health, not like the fruit of the day. If you look, the closer you get to the beginning of creation, the better it is. True, vitamins are good for your health. Vitamins today are just like taking nothing. It is best right from the tree itself. And their father Israel said unto them, If it must be so now, do this. Take of the best fruits in the land in your vessels and carry down the man a present, a little balm and a little honey and spice and myrrh and nuts and almonds. You see, it's best for health. Let's look at the fruit of people. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. People have souls that belong to the Creator God. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Your soul you cannot see, and the spirit you cannot see. Look at, at it as soul equals spirit. It too has fruit, but let's look at the flesh and the fruit together. Now the works of the flesh are made manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, violence, immolations, wrath, strife, citizen, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, reveals, and such like of these which I tell you before, I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things are not inheriting the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affliction of lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. What kind of fruit do we need for Creator God to accept a body? Or will He accept any flesh and blood? Bring forth therefore fruit meant for repentance. And think not to say within yourself, We have Abraham our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to rise up children unto Abraham. As we can see, we need fruit for our soul. Fruit comes from seed. There are two kinds of people in this world. There are good seeds and there are bad fruit. Beware of false prophets which come unto you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorn or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree that bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bringeth forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not fruit forth good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit ye shall know them. We should increase our fruit. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruit of your righteousness. If we look at the beginning, Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 3, and then look at Revelation chapter 20 and through 22, it is like the Garden of God, Eden. Look, you will see Genesis 3, the serpent shows up in the beginning, and in Revelations 20, the serpent is gotten rid of. If you think about it, the life of Satan, Genesis-Revelation, it is like 
make a dash on the tombstone. Well, I want to go back to the garden. We have already looked at how people look like trees, and your soul and spirit is the fruit of your soul. In Genesis uh, 2 and 27, man had the spirit of creator God. Now, let's look at the seed. Man has a seed. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. As he spoke these words, many believed on him. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, Ye shall make us free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And his servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. And they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me. A man hath told you the truth which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Do you the deeds of your father? Then said they unto him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father even God. Jesus said unto them, God, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth come from my father, my, from God. Neither come I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He is a murderer, and from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you conceiveth me of sin? And if I say unto thee, that Why do you not believe me? And he that is of God heareth God's word. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samarian and hast a devil? And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do not honor me. And I seek my, not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see. As we can see, the seed is a belief, soul, fruit, people, food. Abraham is the father of Isaac. Isaac's father is Esau and Jacob. Let's look at Esau. What did Creator God say about Esau? As it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. Is this true? Is there another place we can look? Because the Bible said we need two or more to be witnesses. Yes, there is. And I hated Esau and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. You know, this is the Roman Catholic Church. 
Now, these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives as the daughters of Canaan. Ada, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, and Ahabama, the daughter of Ana, and the daughter of Zebon, and the Hevite, and Ahabama bore Jehush, and Jehalem, and Hordish. These are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Sur. Esau is Edom. But how did Esau and Abraham, how are they related? And these are the generation of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac. And Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethel the Syrian of Panaram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. And Isaac intrigued the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was intrigued of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And then her days to be delivered were fulfilled. Behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So we went this far in generations. So you know it will take you back to Abraham, right? Eve had Cain and Abel. After he killed Cain, God put him away from his seed, Adam, so they could have Seth, another bloodline that was pure. Let's look at the offering. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bore his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the first wing of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel, and to his offering. But unto Cain and his offering he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fall? If thou doest well, that thou shalt be accepted, and if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain arose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, and my, brother, my brother's keeper. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now thou art cursed from the earth, which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength, and a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Wherefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest any find him shall kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east. Who else roams the earth? 
And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Now that we have gotten the seed, the fruit, the bodies out of the way, let's look at Genesis 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God knoweth that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Just to say Adam and Eve was naked. They did not have the spirit they used to have. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. As we can see, the sin that Adam and Eve was a sex and witchcraft. How was it sex? With what? In free nations they have aprons, and Adam and Eve sew fig leaves together. Subtle means to deceive, means charm or enchant. Sometimes in a deceptive way. Look at the TV and the way of life is today. So in the beginning, Satan deceived man, Adam, Eve, woman. It is in all of us. And if you call on the Father, who without respect a person judges according to every man's work, passing the time of your sojourn here in afar, for as much as you know that you are, were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation, receiving the tradition of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was ordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him to believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. And you have quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among who also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. You were conceived in sin, and sex is witchcraft on television. Thank you for your time to watch. Please subscribe and comment and pass on. Jesus is needed in all life. Thank you, subscribers. I appreciate your time with the Lord Jesus Christ with me.